Well, good morning, good afternoon. This is uh, Scott over at Ready Squirrel. And today I'm going to be covering a kind of a dry subject, food and non-food grade buckets. What's the difference? I was kind of confused by this when I start, uh, started uh, storing white rice. So uh, again, Scott with ReadySquirrel.com. Smash that like button, give me some thumbs up, make some comments and show the channel some love. Food and non-food grade buckets, what's the difference? One of the staple tools of prepping community is food grade buckets. Uh, they're used to, to store rice, wheat, and other staples as well as to pickle and ferment. Sorry, dry mouth. One of the first questions I had when storing rice is why can't I just use a homer bucket for storage? Food and non-food grade buckets are different. Uh, Non-food grade plastic buckets are made using uh, chemicals, solvents, and dyes that are not safe for direct food contact. Recycled plastics uh, contain toxic chemical residue like pesticides that may be present in uh, present, not present, present in non-food grade buckets. So, the non-food grade plastics used to make the non-food grade buckets may have a residue from things like pesticides and stuff like that. So you don't want it to touch your food, <coughs> excuse me, directly. There are two toxic chemicals used when making non-food grade buckets. Uh, the mold release compound is used to get the bucket out of the mold and non-food grade dyes are used also. These buckets may be manufactured using recycled uh, Plastics, again, which previously contained toxic chemicals such as pesticides. Even if you're using Mylar bags with your buckets, and I suggest that you do, there are other reasons to use uh, food grade and uh, buckets and not the non-food grade buckets for your prepping. Uh, next question, can I use a non-food grade buckets to store food? You definitely can use uh, non-food grade buckets to store your staples in a pinch. But I suggest, again, I suggest that you don't because it cuts way down on their usefulness. If you don't have Mylar bags for the next batch of food, then that uh, non-food grade bucket uh, can't be used with food stuff. Long-term food supplies can be stored in non-food grade buckets as long as the food doesn't directly contact the plastic. Use properly sealed Mylar bags as a food barrier to avoid chemical contamination and off flavors. So, you know, the whole reasoning behind not even using um, non-food grade buckets, unless it's an availability issue. The, the food grade buckets are super cheap. They're very, they're available. And yes, you want to use the Mylar bags in those buckets because, well, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but the, the main reason you don't want to use non-food grade uh, buckets is you can't really use them for anything else down the line. So in a SHTF situation, I mean, you're likely to not not be able to get mylar bags you may run out of them they may not be available <clears throat> excuse me so that bucket's going to become something that you can you know you're going to have to use it out in the garden or it's going to be more of a utility bucket but it will no longer be good for uh, food grade stuff if you don't have those mylar bags how can i tell if a bucket is food grade um, a food grade bucket will indicate food grade right on the bucket if a bucket doesn't say it's food grade then proceed as if it is not in the past, it was said that all HDPE containers are food grade. They are not. HDPE plastics can be made from recycled plastics that contain caustic materials before they were recycled. And manufacturing plants may not adhere to the food uh, safe guidelines. So you could have, so maybe that plastic is okay and it is food grade, but you can have, if you are in a manufacturing plant, that's making other plastic items. There's other solvents. There's other chemicals. There are other there are other dyes. There's leaching. There's stuff on the floor. There's stuff on the the, the uh, workers' hands when they're making stuff. And you really won't know if that's contaminating the non uh, even new uh, uh, non food grade buckets. So a good example of a non uh, food grade bucket that's HDPE is the orange Homer bucket made from HDPE plastic. If you're getting white buckets from bakeries or other businesses that use the buckets to store food, you can be fairly certain they're food grade. Just make sure that they weren't used to store anything non-food grade after storing food. Fact, most food grade buckets are made from uh, white HDPE or number two plastic 
which is indicated on the bottom of the bucket with a number two recycling symbol. But again, that doesn't mean a white bucket with the number two recycling symbol is food grade. Fact, new food grade buckets sold retail will normally be marked as food grade. Why you should avoid non-food grade buckets with, uh, when prepping. You can use non-food grade buckets if you use Mylar, but they aren't the best option. They have limited usefulness in food prepping. Remember that you want all of your prepping supplies to provide as many uses as possible in an SHTF scenario. Non-food grade buckets reduce flexibility and food storage options. When the bucket is empty, you may want to carry water from a stream, ferment garden vegetables, or make mead, wine, or cider. If the bucket isn't food grade, you lose the option. Without Mylar, there aren't any food-related uses for that bucket. Why should I use buckets and Mylar bags to store food? Used together, Mylar bags and sealed plastic buckets are one of the best storage options for dry goods like wheat, dried beans, and white rice because they provide the best shelf life and protection for dry, for dry goods. Number 10 cans are, are probably better, but they're not as available. One, uh, if you don't live by an LDS cannery or you don't want to uh, pay a higher dollar for online uh, pre uh, professionally prepackaged food in a number 10 can, the best option for uh, the individual prepper that wants to go out and buy huge bags of inexpensive rice is to use Mylar, sealed Mylar bags with oxygen absorbers and then to protect those Mylar bags with tough uh, food grade pails. The food grade pails can then be repurposed for other uses down the road. Uh, Mylar bags and sealed buckets provide a reliable storage solution for dry goods, providing 30 years of shelf life for the main dry goods staples like wheat, uh, white rice, uh, oats, uh, etc. Uh, mylar bags are excellent, uh, are an excellent oxygen absorber, but pests like mice and rough handling easily damages them. Uh, buckets are not good at keeping out oxygen, but they are tough and protect the mylar bags. So together, the two perfect combination for long-term food storage. And okay, so there's always going to be somebody that says, "Hey, all I, you know, all I do is buckets," but for a little added expense, you can use buckets and Mylar uh, together for peace of uh, mind. You don't want to find out 15 years um, from now that half your buckets didn't keep a seal, especially if you're in the middle of an SHTF situation. Uh, what size of Mylar bag should I use in a food storage bucket? When I first started prepping, I figured the best size of Mylar bag was, you know, if I'm using a five gallon bucket, I should be using a five gallon Mylar bag. Um, just basically using the size that match the container. I don't think that now, I don't think that's always the best option. Um, use five gallon Mylar bags to store dry goods in a five gallon bucket if you use the food within one year once it's opened. If you aren't using much food, uh, much of the food product, consider using multiple small bags, Mylar bags to limit the amount of food exposed to oxygen when you actually open the container. Once open, food goes bad at a quicker rate. It's, it's kind of a balancing act. Using smaller bags, it takes more uh, labor. You have to seal more bags. There's more room for air, I suppose, if you don't seal the bags properly. But on the back end, it gives you more options. You can take out, you know, you can open a bucket and you can have, you know, 20 small Mylar bags filled with rice. You can take them out at one, one at a time. The one that you open is the only one that, that is exposed to the air. And I kind of like that option. It is an option. You can continue to use the five gallon uh, Mylar bags for five gallon buckets if you prefer to do it that way. Because <clears throat> I mean, once you open the, the bag, white rice probably would last a year. I just like the idea of having the option. How should I store my food grade buckets? Uh, food grade buckets should be stored the same way the rest of your emergency food is stored. Uh, the storage location should be cool, dry, clean. Uh, you want to store your buckets up off the floor and away uh, from the wall for ventilation, and that's going to keep down on issues like moisture. Uh, you, don't, you don't theoretically want to stack your buckets at all, but if you do, you want to limit that to two or three buckets high um, to keep your, uh, your buckets from buckling, breaking the seal. Um, you want to keep your bucket area free of pests. Uh, there have been cases where mice have chewed through 
uh, five gallon buckets, but I think I think you would have to be letting the situation go out of hand. I think for the most part, you would actually see that there were mice in the area. You might see mice droppings or something like that, and you want to take care of that. You want to trap the mice or either live or, or kill traps, whatever you choose. Uh, do not place buckets directly on concrete or there may be chemical leaching and moisture issues. For long-term storage, use the correct number of oxygen absorbers and combine properly sealed mylar bags and buckets for the highest level of protection. Uh, where can I find food grade buckets? There are so many places that can provide you free buckets. Uh, I had a neighbor who owned a bakery. He had so many buck buckets left over from uh, pre-made frosting, flour, and other baking ingredients, he didn't know what to do with them. They were literally coming out of his ears. So seven places you can get free food grade buckets. Uh, grocery store bakeries and delis, uh, Walmart bakery, restaurants, mom and pop bakeries and delis, ice cream shops, uh, cake and confectionery shops, coffee shops, donut shops, uh, fast food restaurants like Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, and Burger King, and eight places you can buy food grade buckets. You know, you may not have time to travel all around looking for buckets. You know, time may be uh, something in limited supply in your house. You know, you got a, a full-time job, you've got kids, uh, soccer, etc. You you just want to order them. You want to know you have the lids. You want to know you have the oxygen absorbers. You want to know that they're food grade. So you just get everything at once. Um, so considering the follow, consider the following resources if looking for buckets right away. You're paying for them. Uh, Uline, which is online. Walmart. Just bought three uh, food grade buckets in the hardware section. Uh, their buckets, their food grade buckets are also marked, um, you know, safe to hold paint and stuff like that. But uh, Home Depot has the Homer buckets, but they also sometimes have food grade buckets. They're white. Uh, Lowe's, Tractor Supply, Home uh, Homebrew stores. I actually have some, uh, they're actually six gallon buckets from uh, Homebrew store for um, processing mead, something I haven't done in a while. Uh, Amazon, you, again, you can order them online. And I have not ordered from Yankee Containers, but I went over and looked at their website and they've got a, what appears to be a pretty good product. So you can also check them out. That's it, that's the end of the article. I appreciate you guys uh, watching, listening. I hope everybody is safe and sound. And uh, that's about all I've got today. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.